Hello all, welcome to part 36 of Test NG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about tagged arrays and how they can be used in data providers for supplying the data to the test methods. So let's get started. Till now, till the previous sessions, we have used normal arrays, guys. Okay, either it is a single dimensional array, the data providers, okay, single dimensional object array or double dimensional object array. They were not jagged arrays. So, what exactly are these jagged arrays? I'll tell you. Okay, so if you see here an example, there's a sample test method, verify login test method, which is uh, receiving the data from this data provider. And if you carefully observe this data that is being supplied by the data provider to the test method, okay, there are multiple sets of data. This is first set of data. This is second set of data. And this is third set of data. And in all the sets of data, we have equal count of data. You see, one, two count. First set of data has two counts of data. Second set of data, which will be provided by supplied by this data provided to the test method also has the two counts of data and third set of data also has two counts of data. If the counts are same for every set of data, those are not called as jagged arrays. Okay, jagged arrays are the arrays where the count will differ guys. In the first set of data, you may have four counts of data. In the second set of data, there may be two counts of data. In third set of data, there may be five counts of data and so on. Such kind of arrays are called as jagged arrays, okay? I'll take an example, guys. I'll not be able to take a real-time or realistic Selenium example here, but rather I'll create a uh, demo class and show you how to supply the data in the jagged array from the data provider method to the test method now, okay? So how data provider method containing data in the form of jagged arrays can supply the data to the test methods, I'm going to practically demonstrate now, guys. So here I'll create a sample test method, public wide sample test, I will say, okay, public wide sample test. I'll just provide this with at the rate test annotation, at the rate test annotation, hover the mouse on this at the rate test and import this from test ng. Now here I will, uh, okay, I will not parameterize this guys. I will not parameterize this. Once I create the, uh, once after I create the data provider containing the jagged array, I'll decide to parameterize this, okay? So we have to parameterize this particular uh, test method in a different way for jagged arrays. That's the reason I am not parameterizing it right away. Okay, let me create the data provider method public wide. Okay, data supplier method. Uh, you can give it any name. I'm just giving data supplier and I'll just provide the data provider annotation here so that it will be officially converted into the data provider which can supply the data to the test method. And I have to name this data provider, guys. I'll just name this as supplier, simply supplier. Okay, and also here to the test method, for this particular test method to receive the data from this data provider, I'll use the data provider attribute, okay? Data provider attribute and, and we'll give the name of the data provider to this attribute so that this test method will now receive the data from the data provider method. That is data supplier, data provider method, okay? Now, I want to create the data in such a way that instead of normal arrays, uh, which have equal count of data for every set of data, here I'm going to create jagged arrays, okay? How? I'll say object uh, two dimensional array data. And then I'll just provide this shortcut uh, representation for uh, two dimensional array. So I'll, I'll supply three sets of data guys. So in the first set of data, I'll provide, let's say, I'll just randomly give the values here, okay? The first set of data, second set of data, third set of data. Here I'll say one, two, three. Here I'll say four, okay? Here I'll say five. Second set of data only has six. Two sets of two count or uh, two count of data. Second set of data in this jagged array has first set of data has four. Second uh, set of uh, data has two counts of data. Whereas third set of data has seven, eight. nine, 10, 11, okay? I can go further. So this is called as jagged array guys, okay? So here this single dimensional array of this two dimensional array has four counts of data. This single dimensional array of this two dimensional array has two counts of data. This single dimensional array of this two dimensional array has 
by counts of data. This is called as JAG array. If this data provider is returning this data, okay, here two dimensional object array is being returned, but it is a JAG array. You know what are JAG arrays now, right? But now, if the for every set of data, if the count of the data is changing, can I give the a proper count for parameters? If I give four parameters, you see here only two will be passed. If I give five parameters, okay, here only four are passed. Here only two are passed. So it doesn't match. So what we are going to do is rather than creating a good number of parameters here, okay, because Jagdaris has different uh, count of data for every set of data here. So or for different sets of data. So what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to create something like object array. Okay, object array, OBJ. Okay, something like this I'll give. Or you can give A also. Okay, object array, A. We don't know what is that. Okay, how many counts of data we'll get for uh, when the test method is called will be decided dynamically. When this particular set of data is passed to the test method, four counts of data will be passed. Object array can store four elements here, four counts of data. Second time when the test method is called, two set, uh, two counts of data will be passed and object array can store two elements, okay? Two counts of data. Then third time when the test method is called, this data provider will supply five counts of data and object array will store five counts of data, okay? Now, what I'm going to do for printing these counts is for, okay, int i is equal to zero, I'm going to write this Java logic saying i less than a dot length. Okay, I'm dynamically finding the length of that particular set of data while the data provider is passing the data to the test method. Okay. So now, based on the size of the data, I'll be iterating this for loop and simply printing out system dot out. I'll say system dot out dot print l and for now, I'll change it to print guys. Okay, print. I'll give a space. Okay, I'll give a space. Uh, just uh, I'll print a. Sorry, I have to print uh, a of a of. This is an array, right? A is nothing but a single dimensional object array. So I have to give the count. How to give the count? A of i, a of i, a of zero, a of one, a of two, a of three, like that. And I'll just provide a space here, guys, so that uh, here not print l and I'm intentionally giving print so that all this. Uh, Values one, two, three, four will be printed in the same line with spaces. Okay. And at the end of the for loop, I'll write down just to separate the data, guys. I'll just provide this line. Okay. Now you can feel the difference. Three times the test method will be called because three sets of data are there. One, two, three, four will be printed as part of the first test execution and they will be printed in the same line because of this coding. Now run this. Now let's run this and see whether we are getting a proper output with a jagged array. Uh, Data in the Jagged Array is being, okay. So what is the problem here? One, two, three, four. It's not uh, It's not going to the next line, right? So that's the problem. So what I'll do here is I'll just write down system.out.println here. One more extra println. Now run this. Extra print uh, println statement. Now let's see what will happen. Yeah. Now you see one, two, three, four separated. 5, 6, separated, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay? So you see the data in the jagged array is being supplied to the test method and also it is utilized by the test method, okay? As you can see, sample test method got executed three times, same sample test, and uh, here the count of data for every set of data is different, okay? So it's working fine. This is how we have to work with jagged arrays and data providers to supply the data to the test methods. And this is a practical demonstration that I wanted to give you. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test topic for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.